Right, hello and welcome to the Key Club. I'm the mad idiot that lives inside it. Me! Anyhow, uh, what you may have seen on the TV recently is the heavy advertising going on for the Star Wars Helmet Collection, which made me laugh quite a bit when uh, when the wifey first pointed it out to me on the internet. Uh, but I've come to accept it. <laughs> and looking at them, I thought, actually, they look, look quite good. We are not going to collect these because I've got enough collection stuff going on, so we don't need stuff. But we thought we'd have a look at the what, the first one, especially as it's Mr. Vader here, and just see what it's like, and let you see what they're like before, uh, if you're thinking of buying these. So, here it is, number one. Obviously, this is the special case, as usual. You don't get this effort put into the later ones. Uh, Star Wars Helmet Collection. Amazingly detailed replicas from the Star Wars universe. Rogard, Attack Pilot, Boba Fett, Scout Trooper, General Grievous. Oh well. C3PO, Stormtrooper, Commander Cody. Uh, and we've got some demos there of the Luke Skywalker's helmet. Hey, kinky. Uh, authentic detailing. Each helmet has its own display base. Ooh. Movable visors. Wow, big selling point. Coming next, issue two, Bobber of the Fett. D. Agostini, Disney, uh, 2006, looks from. Inside your first magazine. Empire Forces, clones, droids, bounty hunters, the thrilling worlds of Star Wars are brought to life with a wealth of fascinating facts. Highlights of the saga, encounter the greatest heroes and villains in classic moments from the Star Wars series. Helmets, detailed technical information on the helmet with your issue. Uh, weapons and uniforms, a gallery, gallery of weapons, insignia and uniforms from the saga, and databank, your com comprehensive, comprehensive A to Z guide to the secrets of the Star Wars uniform, <laughs> universe. Uh, official Star Wars collection, one of five scale replicas, highly detailed molded plastic. Right then, let us see what we can see. Let us take out the magazines and put Mr. Vader to one side for the moment. So as usual with the first edition you get the plastic case, well plastic case it's uh, yeah, cardboard and you get an extra bit promoting the series. So let's have a look at that shall we. Series guide. Put this other stuff out the way. Okay, Mr. Vader out the way over there. Okay, so Series guide. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, since the towering black robe Darth Vader first strode onto the screen through the smoke of battle, the Star Wars saga has presented fans with some of the most astonishing and memorable characters ever seen in a movie. And this feels like it's folded over. So we've got pictures of different series. There we go. So when we get this one, uh, superbly detailed. Oh. Not blowing their own trumpet at all. Mold in high quality impact resistant resin. I may do some 3D prints of these. That would be a good idea. My own 3D printed series. I've had a good idea. Finished in authentic colours with hand applied decals and paintwork. Yep, so will mine. Each miniature has a customised base and a clear case to protect it. Mine won't. <laughs> Apparently, I've also heard that if you subscribe to this thing, you're going to get uh, a big case or something like that. Pots with a big case to contain it in. So it folds out here and just gives you a sample of some of the helmets here. Too big to fit in, but there we go. Uh, superb reproductions of Star Wars helmets. Collector's editions. C3PO da, 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 plus Star Wars helmet collection will include favourites from... Star Wars Force Awakens, such as Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, and Poe da 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 da. Oh, my Kylo Ren one, that's, that's quite good, I like that. Uh, inside your magazine, data bank A to Z, helmets, highlights from the saga, weapons in uniform, and a chronology. Hmm. And issue 2 will be Boba Fett, issue 3 will be C3PO. Uh, make sure you receive every issue of the Star Wars Hammy Collection. Place a regular order, subscribe and receive your copies by post. 
uh, doesn't say anything there about if you get anything extra if you subscribe but maybe some information aha here we are didn't think it would take long let's see issue 2 on sale January 27th yeah two news agents take out a premium subscription today and receive these fantastic gifts only one pound extra per issue two custom built acrylic display kit stands with your 10th and 20th deliveries. How many helmets are there in this collection? It doesn't say it. Have a look. I can't find anywhere where it tells you. 10.99 an issue. I wonder if it's just... Could it be 20? I don't know. Hmm. Figures, uh, new Hope metal poster in tin plate. Ooh. 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 Hmm. 20 helmets with four shells for your 10th and 20th delivery. Serial value for delivery. Uh, I wonder if these. Oh, gift four. <laughs> gift three is a binder. Gift four is a ba -ba -ba USP R2D2 key. And. Ooh, gift five is the t-shirt. And for the premium, you get the shelving as well. I have got nowhere I could put the shelving. No. It doesn't state, as far as I know, uh, as far as I can see at all, how many uh, they intend to make. I know they do change that figure, but it usually gives you an idea of how many uh, you get. It can't be just 20. They've got to make much more than that. They usually do. Mm. So you're talking DTD subscription, 9.99 per issue. Uh, so twenty pound once, twenty two pound if you do the premium. Still doesn't say how many there are, which is a bit annoying. Do, do, do. Hmm. Okay. All gifts are yours to keep. I so bloody hope so. Christ, you're paying for them. Anyhow, let's have a look at the magazine itself. See what we get. Over there. So, Star Wars Helmet Collection, Darth Vader. Duel in Cloud City. Vader sets up a trap. Sets a trap. Imperial uh, Weapons and uniforms. Imperial High Command. And Mr. Head himself. <coughs> Mr. Vader. Right, okay. It's, uh, it's a nice high quality paper. Well done, well produced by the looks of it. Uh, data by Bank Aliens. Ask Ekagagal Senator. Planets. No, uh, aliens, again. Uh, vehicles. Another alien. Technology. Air and space traffic control. Planets. Another planet. Humans. Why did they done a drawing version? Why did they just do real one, unless that's not actually been seen in a film, possibly. Oh, more data bank. Uh, starting on A. Okay, we've got a folded over page here. Ugh. Uh, um, right. Oh. Okay, we have a teardown of Darth Vader's helmet. How kinky. Let me show you, slide this over here to show you. Uh, right, so here are Dark Resurrection. Only the intervention of Emperor Palpatine prevented the death of his apprentice, Darth Vader. Medical droids rebuilt his body and fitted him with the helmet that became his new face forever after. Yep, there he is. A bit older than when he went under. Uh, sensors here, magnetic fixing points, anchoring mechanism, external neurosensors, voice processor. The electronic voice processor amplified the sounds created by Vader's damaged vocal cords. The system was designed to give Darth Vader a deep, threatening voice that sounded just like Earl Jones. For some strange unknown reason. I 
If I do lack of faith, disturbing. That sounds like Yoda voice. <laughs> oh well. You're not going to get Yoda because you never had a helmet. In some ways, you never had a helmet. Okay, yeah, we're not talking about that bit. A low, P low power relay transmitter. Oh, it's going back to there. Okay. So, there we go. Darth Vader, Luke, overall, at his body and his belt. And, oh, there we go. And, go to the next page. Weapons and uniforms. Imperial High Command uniform. With, uh, what's his face there? That's it. Grand Moth Tarkin. Massive ship. Massive ship there he had. Uh, code cylinders, insignia plaque, and high command. Ah, there we go. There's the uh, the ranks, different ranks. Uh, Grand Moth, general, major, captain, admiral, colonel, co commandant, and lieutenant. Uh, there we go. Duel in Cloud City: the clash between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker on. Bespin would have traumatic consequences and reveal a terrifying truth for Luke. See, this is what they need to sell it more on as well, because, you know, obviously this is about the helmets, uh, but they can't, there's not that much you can put in the book about helmets, so what they've obviously done is a lot on the Star Wars universe, and they should, I think they should sell it more on this, push this more on their advertising, that they gain, you know, information about the Star Wars universe, which is quite good. There we go, coming yours, and next issue is issue 2, Boba Fett, issue 3, uh, C-3PO. So, let's have a look at Darth Vader's helmet. You dirty bugger! Thank you. Right, uh, try and get this out of its packing without utterly destroying it. Ah, right. Sellotape. Just, uh Amuse yourself while I'm uh, getting this out. Uh, I could play some holding music, but uh, it might annoy you a bit more than even I annoy. Uh. Yeah, Fluffy was actually quite lucky to get this because uh, they were flying off the shelves apparently, which was there. Right, here it is in the box. Well, the packaging it came in. So let's have a look. Oh, there we go. First edition and fully devalued. There we go. Yeah. Two of these. <laughs> and uh, Kidoki. We are in like Flynn, as a certain channel would say. Ah! Tell me knock. Right, so here he is. And there he is. Ooh. Scary. Let's pull this light back just a bit. There we go. Alright, so there's Mr. Vader. Mr. Vader's helmet. It's quite kinky. Uh Camera is not picking up all the details, it does look, actually look better in real life. Cases, okay. Bottom plastic is... Meh. Say meh. It is hollow. Up to about... The mouth is actually hollow. But, there we go. There's Mr. Vader himself. There we go. Uh, yep, it's just well made. There's nice detailing under there as well. And his neck has detailing I've never seen before, so there we go. And there he is, looking at you. You know you can get sprays for that, Mr. Vader. Right, put his top on. There he is. Ta -da. So, yeah, uh, personally, if I wasn't collecting other stuff, I might be tempted by this. I think it's actually quite good. Uh, yeah, so, there you go. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we also have social media links if you want to join us in our popular Facebook group uh, down below or on Twitter where we have all the mad conversations. Uh, yep, we also have lots of different videos, uh, Star Trek, Star Wars, oh, geeky computing also, so please subscribe and please like the video if you've uh, enjoyed it. And other than that, just left to me to say, <coughs> thank you very much. Never thought I'd ever 
しょいかな You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. 